Ca Cowboy and uh, Mr. McKinney here. Uh, Mr. McKinney, tell us a little bit about this bridge building between you, Cowboy, and the people of California, and uh, speak to Nipsey and the community really quick, if you don't mind. First of all, I want to say that Cowboy uh, has been very supportive of this effort to bring this to Holder to justice. He did everything in the right way. He showed a lot of courage. He spoke the truth, which is in short supply these days. You know, without people like Cowboy, we can't prove these cases because so many people are afraid or they're adhering to some anti-snitch culture that's working to destroy our community. And we can't have that, you know? Right is right and wrong is wrong. And when, when something wrong, catastrophically wrong, like a murder is done in cold blood to an innocent person, we gotta speak on it. Right. There's a lot of things that go on in the street that don't need to be talked about. But then there are the important things that do need to be talked about. Right. It's the only way that we can make a decent life for ourselves and for our families. What do you think about that? Right. Yeah, I mean, that, hey, you spoke and you said it to the best right there. Uh, you know, uh, this man did a wonderful job. You know, I was always on the criminal side, you know what I mean? But right is right is wrong and wrong. Uh, even criminals have a code of ethics that we need to abide by. That's right. You know, and he was in blatant violation of the criminal code. So that's what involved me to go against the grain and come uh, help the prosecution out because, you know, he was in blatant violation. You know, there's rules in whatever you do. You know, if it's legal or if it's illegal, there's still rules to this stuff. And, uh, right. He, you know. But, Cowboy, you didn't snitch. This was on camera. You were merely there as a support yeah, it's for okay, your friend, your fallen brother. Sometimes you got to go against the code. The code says I was doing this and that. But as time, four years later, a lot of people don't feel I like snitched. They feel I did the right thing. You know what I mean? At the beginning, everybody wanted to come to a, a, assume something. But as four years went by, uh, I walk around here without no bodyguards, no security, and uh, I get love from around the whole city. That's right, Cowboy. You got a lot of courage. And Mr. McKinney, thank you for bringing justice thank you. today. He thank definitely you. did that. He outshined the, uh, the, uh, the, the DA. He outshined that. That's <laughs> great. Yeah, he outshined <laughs> I am the DA. The prosecution, yeah, whatever the hell he was. Well, the, the deputy uh, defense. Uh, uh, the public pretender. He, he outshined it. Uh, I mean, the, the, the defense looks so, uh, they looked so dusty or whatever. Look, he was out there shining. He outshined them off the That's top. That's right. Uh, outshined well, Thank you, Mr. Let, let me say good. this. The, the evidence in this case was critically important. Uh, the work of the Los Angeles Police Department, was the investigation was top notch. They went out to the scene that day. They secured all the video that they could. There were a number of witnesses who spoke to law enforcement that day. Uh, some of them testified in the trial courageously. Others did not, and that you know that's part of the problem with some of these cases. Now, if we didn't have that video, we would have relied on the testimony of people like Cowboy. And then what would have happened? The defense would have been attacking Cowboy, bringing up you know what he may have done in the past, trying to convince jurors that he couldn't be believed or shouldn't be believed. And without the video, it would have been a harder case. So it was very fortunate that we got that video. Everybody could see what happened to Nipsey. Everybody could see it was wrong. And and John, can you can you read that on the bottom of uh, Cowboy's uh, sweatshirt there? The marathon continues, y'all. That's right, but, man. But listen, the marathon continues because we keep Nipsey's legacy alive. That's how it continues. The best way to keep it alive is to tell his story and the whole story, not just the part where he got famous to the end. We got to tell it from the beginning because that's the arc that makes his life so special. And that's the arc that our young people can follow and be successful as well. That's right, guys. Thank you both. Cinemills TV signing out. That's right.